this year, New York Governor Cuomo appointed something called the Commission to Investigate Public Corruption, and it just released its preliminary report. You'll be shocked to learn that the commission found a hell of a lot of corruption in New York. But as far as state documents go, this one has lots of juicy moments. For instance, in one hard-hitting moment, the report says that one out of every 11 legislators to leave office since 1999 has done so under the cloud of ethical or criminal violations. It lists tons of senators and assembly members who accepted bribes, embezzled, extorted, committed larceny, you name it. One of the most entertaining moments is when the report transcribes a statement made by New York Councilman Halloran in a secret conversation. When talking about a case where a senator was charged with trading cash for a mayoral nomination, he said, that's politics. It's all about how much. You can't do anything without the effing money. But the real light bulb moment of the report is when it says that much of the deplorable conduct of public officials is perfectly legal, yet profoundly wrong. It illustrates this by going into case after disgusting case of pay-to-play arrangements, loopholes, misuse of campaign funds, conflicts of interest, and so much more. And it actually has moments where it offers ways to fix this crap, like increasing transparency about politicians' income, or their relationships with lobbyists, and more oversight of discretionary funding. It goes into ways to overhaul campaign finance. All of its recommendations are much-needed, no-brainer solutions that any high school kid could understand and agree with. But the final touching moment is when one of the commission's co-chairs issued a call to arms, saying, it's now up to us all to transition from this fact-finding phase to implementation and legislative action. These fixes won't happen naturally, which is so true. Because the people we need to write new laws that aren't filled with legal corrupt loopholes are the same people who benefit from them never being written. Legislating against corruption would be the most unnatural thing for politicians to ever do. So who knows if it'll ever happen. But at least before this entertaining report goes into the shredder and gets forgotten, maybe our politicians will give it a quick read. And remember, they're supposed to be serving the public, not their bank accounts, for just one moment. Tonight, let's talk about that by following me on Twitter at The Resident. Thank you.